Hey guys, it's History Behind the Warrior, and today we're going to be talking about how Nightwing could be DLC in Injustice 2. Now, I'm clearly going by the silhouettes we currently see within Injustice 2. Some of these are quite obvious, and some aren't as much so. And with rumours and speculation flying all over the place, I thought I'd put my own two cents in, and come up with something which is quite admittedly very left field, but can in fact work, and allows them to bring back a legacy character with a massive spin on him. You see, I'm not going to be bringing back Nightwing as just Nightwing. It's going to be a mix of him and dead man and i know some of you may think this is absolutely absurd but guess what folks this actually happened in the comics which are indeed canon so allow me to explain during the first year of the injustice comic books a lot of heroes were split down the middle of whether or not they should kill or they shouldn't kill with people siding with batman or superman superman's new philosophy of essentially removing insane criminals from society eventually led him to laying his eyes on arkham so he along with a few members of the justice league would travel to arkham in order to remove of some inmates. This would later lead to a conflict between Superman and Batman along with the Arkham inmates in which Nightwing would tragically die when Damien threw a baton at his head knocking him out in which he fell over and landed on a rock in just the right way that it in fact snapped his neck. Dick Grayson's death is one of the most tragic deaths within the Injustice franchise and was most certainly a turning point for Batman as a character as well as the tone it would set for the rest of the Injustice series. Now this is in fact not the last time we see Dick Grayson. He does in fact return in a certain way. Way. You see, after the fall of the Green Lantern Corps and the war between the insurgency regime continuing to worsen, casualties were going down left and right during year three of the comic. And one of these was in fact Dead Man. He was maimed terribly by the Spectre and was beginning to die. But before his death, he wanted to pass down the mantle of Dead Man to someone else. Someone who was pure of heart. Someone who really did deserve a second chance at life. And what better choice was there than Dick Grayson? So though Dick technically did die, he is roaming around as the current Dead Man in this universe and from analyzing the character silhouette we do see one character with a turned up collar unfortunately it's not that large that we can in fact say it's spawn but one character that does have a turned up collar is dead man now last time we do see dick grayson his attire is simply the same one he had except he has the d symbol on his chest now it's been three or four years since the last time anyone has seen dick grayson so we can most certainly expect a costume change for the character now another reason of why i say dick might have a chance of actually being in this game is due to Damien. You see, as an unlockable, Damien is able to obtain Dick's bow star, in which he uses in combat. However, he's not able to go into the Escrima stance, the one where Dick's holding two of the sticks. This could be a reused asset. If Dick Grayson were to make it into the game as DLC, it would be a shame to have that complete arsenal of moves go to waste. Plus, you could put a completely new spin on the character. With Dick no longer having human limitations, this could open up a whole new world of things they can do with the character. And Ed Boon himself on Twitter has speculated and asked fans if they want more legacy characters as DLC within the game. So I think this would be a fantastic opportunity to bring back an old character and completely change him up. Dick is the best Robin there ever has been. There is no question about that. Plus I could see there being a lot of heartfelt intros with him. Imagine some of the very heartfelt interactions he'd have with Bruce or even the really awkward ones between Todd and Damien as Damien did accidentally kill him. Plus we also need to take into account that when NRS were putting this roster together they were trying to appeal to lesser known characters. Deadman is a character that doesn't really have a lot of limelight shined on him. If anything, out of the entirety of the Justice League Dark, he's outshined by Constantine, Zatanna, and even Swamp Thing who does make it into the game. So a character as popular as Nightwing becoming the next Dead Man and being brought forward could be a very cool idea. I personally could see this as a very fantastic way of reintroducing a legacy character and putting a very cool spin on what he already has. But yeah, this pretty much sums up my Nightwing video, guys. Might have say that this is all from a single silhouette. Nothing I say here is essentially set in stone, I'm simply putting together the dots that I can see. And to be honest, I really like Nightwing from the first game, I enjoyed his playstyle, and I do enjoy Nightwing as a character. So to see him be reintroduced into the series, and be taken in a completely different direction, I think it'd be fantastic, especially for some of you massive Nightwing fans. And I know it may seem very kind of Robin heavy, as we do have Damien and Todd, but Nightwing's really kind of been able to break away from the Bat family more. He really has has kind of grown to become his own character. So in all honesty, I would love to see this character within the game. Anyway, please down in the comments below, give me a list for the characters you speculate that are in the next fighter pack, and let me know what you think about Nightwing being in the game, if he does so happen to be in it. And if possible, let's try getting this video to roughly about 500 likes. It's a great way of supporting my channel, as YouTube's adpocalypse is still currently going on. Anyway, as always guys, please comment, like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know. Please take care, and I will see you all next time.